All right, I am live. We're live. This is the marathon Raymond noodle marathon. I'm going to be making a couple of different types of Raymond noodles for you guys today. I'm going to be having caviar Raymond. I'm going to be having shrimp and cheese Raymond. And I'm going to be making spaghetti Raymond. Okay, three different varieties. I got pots, boiling water, you know, heating up, getting ready to cook. But the first thing we're going to do is we're going to make caviar Raymond. Now, the reason why I'm making caviar Raymond is because a lot of my fans are kind of bougie, kind of like upper scale, high scale. They're like, you know, I would never eat that cheap stuff. So I had to step it up a little bit. So I got a little bit fancy. So I went out and got some black lumpfish caviar. Okay. Lumpfish caviar. If you don't know what caviar are, it is fish eggs. It's what fancy people enjoy eating with I don't know, maybe they're White Castle or something. I don't know. But I have this right here. You see, it's it's, it's the uh, caviar. And I'm going to add it to this oriental flavored, very authentic. That's why it says oriental right here. Uh, very authentic um, Raymond noodles. So I'm going to get started. What I'm going to do now, I'm going to set the caviar, the black lumpfish caviar to the side. For you fancy people out there, fancy fans. And I'm going to turn the temperature up to get this water boiling. Because we're going to get started right here. All right. And so I have that in there. And I'm just going to step around right here. And this, I'm going to go ahead and open up the package. All right. And I'm going to pull out the Raymond noodle. Okay. I'm just going to pull out slightly just so I can access the uh, the um, package, if I can get my finger in there. It's right here. That's Oriental flavor. Now, because it's the fancy people, people like fine things. That's what I heard. Like People were saying that fancy people like fine things. So what I'm going to do with the ramen noodles, normally I just cook this whole package, but since they like finer things in life, I'm going to make the ramen noodle a little bit finer by crumbling it up just like this to make them nice and fine, okay? And so, crush it up a little bit more. Look in there. A lot of finely crushed noodles, okay? So I'm going to eat a little bit of crunchies. These things are good. I actually, I don't know if it's safe to do this, but I um, actually taste some of the crunchies. I'm going to put it back in there, put it a little bit finer. All right, so, all right, so it's crushed up and everything, very fine. The water's almost to a boil, and I'm going to heat up, if you can see right over here, i got other pots heating up, so like right after I do the oriental uh, flavored caviar Raymond noodles, I'm going to actually have um, the shrimp and cheese, you see right here. I have the shrimp as well as cheese. And I actually have a surprise. I actually have real shrimp that I'm going to add to this. As you can see, like, hold on right here. I have the shrimp right over here. They're in there swimming around. Uh, I'm going to add that real shrimp because people are saying that you need to add fresh ingredients. So I have some fresh frozen uh, shrimp that I'm going to add to the shrimp and cheese. As well as I am going to be making, making... Ta-da! Look, I'm going to be making spaghetti ramen noodles. You didn't know you could make spaghetti with ramen noodles. Very authentic. I'm going to get that going. But let's get uh, back to the caviar ramen noodles, okay? So, I have oriental flavor. Did it get a little bit fine? All right, so it's starting to boil. As you can see, like, some of the bubbles starting to bubble up down in there. That is an uh, indication that it's about to boil. So I'm going to take this, crush it up a little bit more, wait till that boils a little bit, because we don't want to eat raw noodles. We don't want to get salmonella or anything of that from eating raw noodles. All right, so we're just going to crush that a little bit more. Yeah, it's inspired fans of all things awesome. Yeah, inspiring you make your own noodles. You should, man. I've inspired a lot of people to become a chef. You know, like I started off, you know, making ramen noodles and over time i began to improve my skill and that's the reason why i'm like the number two ramen chef 
in the world right now. And it takes time. You just got to keep on making pack after 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 pack ramen noodles. You 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 got it, man. One day you'll be just like me. All right. So now that it's boiling, I'm gonna take the ramen noodle oriental flavor. Oh, I forgot to add again. Always, I always add my seasoning first because I like the seasoning to penetrate the noodles and go the flavor go all the way through, okay? And so I always add the pack first. So let me open this, pour that in. Oh, wow, it smells just like the Orient. All right, so I got that in there and I'm gonna take the pack of noodles, right? And I'm just going to pour it in there just like that. Look at that absolute goodness all right and while that's boiling i'm just going to clean up a little bit and throw away some of the ramen noodles packages and uh let that boil and you know since we are cooking with the orient i want to get an orient oriental spice this is ginger okay this is fresh ginger okay very oriental right so i'm going to take this and i'm going to take my grater and i'm just going to grate a little bit of ginger into the oriental flavor can you smell that it smells great right oh wow smelling smelling good all right so i grated a little bit of the ginger in there scrape that off in there it's very potent okay you just need a little bit of ginger um delicate taste because we're going to be making this with caviar okay so i'm just going to take my fork or I, can, I have a spoon with um, with holes in it and I'm just gonna stir it a little bit just to make sure that the noodles are getting close to al dental and just stir it up a little bit and let that boil as you can see if you can look down close the seasoning is penetrating through the noodles right there and because I have them so so fine okay finely crushed noodles more of the flavor is actually going to get inside of the noodles, okay? So I'm going to let that boil for a second, and then I'm going to get my strainer right here because we're going to have to strain some of these noodles. So just watch it boil really quick while I clean up a little bit, okay? All right. So what's going to happen is, as soon as this gets out of dental, I am going to, oops, getting water everywhere. I'm gonna strain the finely noodles into this right here, and then we're gonna go from there. All right, so let me give that about another 30 seconds to make sure that the noodles are getting cooked properly, all right? You don't want them overcooked, okay? So, give that. And while that's boiling, I'm just gonna open up the black lumpfish caviar, all right? Open this up. Well, here we go. This is what it looks like. Look at that lumpfish, that's caviar. That's fancy right there absolute goodness okay this is for you fancy people out there who say that you need a little bit more finer dish so maybe you can i don't know serve it to your your significant other on you know your anniversary or something well i have recipes for you guys out there okay so i'm gonna open this up Ooh, freshness oh uh, look at that look you can see some of the caviar right there okay the caviar is sitting right there, like the fish eggs are just like, I want to get all of and swim into the pot of ramen noodle. But there, there they are. You see that? And there they are in here. So I'm just going to sit this down, check to see if how al dente they are. Mmm, perfect. The seasoning went straight through and they are perfect. I'm going to strain this really quick, so don't go anywhere. And I'm going to turn off, turn down this pot. Okay? Give me one second. So I can, I'm completely draining the noodles, just like that. You see that? Do you see the consistency of this? It's very fine, all right? Very fine, very fine, really. It kind of reminds me of an Italian dish called risotto, okay? So I'm gonna take this, and then I'm gonna put this to the side, and I'm gonna take my bowl, And it's in the bowl like that, okay? So 
Yeah, yeah, it's it's really expensive, but you know I have to cater to all of my fans and not just some of them. So I, I want to have something that you know reaches like you never know. Maybe uh, uh, Markle, that lady, the queen, the princess, wherever she is, just married Prince Harry. She probably is all fancy now, so she probably uh, eats Meghan Markle. That's her name. She probably eats caviar. Uh, so I, I need to make something for her just in case she's watching or Prince Harry or the Queen of England or Prince George or any of those guys. They could be watching and I want them to have something that they could eat, too, so they don't so they don't starve. OK, so I have this right here. So I'm going to take a little bit of the fish juice right there without the caviar and just just show you really quick look at that that's the fish eggs right baby fish eggs right and I'm just gonna add them pour a little bit I usually use half of it because if you're really hungry you want a lot of caviar in there okay and the juice is gonna penetrate to the bottom and that's where all the flavor is. And then we're going to have some of the fish eggs on top right here. Now, you could be fancy and serve it like that. That's what I do right here. And then maybe put a little bit of gar garnish on it. I don't have any garnish. Oh, I actually have a little bit. I have, like, collard greens inside of the refrigerator. So I'm going to take a little bit of the collard greens. All right. I got some collard greens for garnish. Make this a little fancy. Yeah, this is definitely meant for the royal family right here. And I'm just going to set the garnish on here like that. Just to give it a little color and a little bit of pop. Okay? And there you have it. That is caviar ramen noodles right there, right? So that's, that's the first dish. Now with the marathon, we're going to go on to the next one, which is shrimp and cheese. Raymond noodles. All right. So I'm going to take the pot, which is kind of heating up back there. I'm going to put it up on here and I'm going to turn it on high. So I'm going to put this aside because I'm going to eat this later. But this is for all you fancy people who've been complaining that I'm not making high enough quality meals. Well, you can't say that anymore because I have caviar Raymond noodles. All right. Thanks a lot. All right. We're going to move on to the shrimp shrimp and uh, cheese ramen noodle all right so we're gonna bring the water to the boil now with this recipe because we're not catering to fancy people anymore we don't need to crush up the ramen noodle like we did, just did okay so basically all I'm gonna do is I am just going to open this while this thing is heating up let me turn the temperature up a little bit higher and I'm just gonna open this all right, and I'm going to pull out the package, okay? This is the shrimp flavor package, all right? That's the shrimp flavor package, and you know like I always do, right? I always add the seasoning first so the seasoning can penetrate the ramen noodles, all right? So I'm going to pour that in there like that. All right, got that in there. And as soon as I bring that to a higher temperature, let me pour out a little bit of this water, okay? Uh, the seasoning's really strong, so we don't need that. It um, be super potent like most of my recipes. All right, now I'm just going to pull this out. The package right here, all right? So, uh, got this out here. Got some crunchies in there. I'm going to go ahead and eat a little bit of the crunchies. Mm, that's good. So this is shrimp flavor right here. So it's going, we're going to put that right there. I'm going to put the crunchies to the side. And then with this, I, I try to split it in half because the noodles should be like somewhat consistent. So you can put on a fork. So the method that I use with this is splitting in half like that. Okay. So the noodles aren't completely long, but they're halfway as long right there. That's a method. It took me a long time to figure this out. Um, if you become like, like me someday, you'll be able to do it as well too, like every time. You see how perfect that is? Both sides, half and half. Now the water's starting to boil. It says you're supposed to, according to the directions, you're supposed to let it boil. But me as a chef, you know, I don't always read the instructions because it's just like I've done it so many times, enough to know that it doesn't have to be a complete boil. So I'm going to take these right here. 
and I'm just going to go ahead and place these inside. Now, while that's inside, I'm trying to cook, it's imperative that I pull out the shrimp and put them in there to get them cooking. Now, you have to cook the shrimp until they get to a temperature to where it's safe to eat, okay? You do not want to eat raw shrimp. I'm telling you, it's not the greatest thing in the world, okay? You don't want anybody to get out there getting sick, all right? Oh, there's some crunchies left in here. So I'm going to pour the crunchies down in there and throw away the packaging, all right? So I got that in there. And I'm just going to make sure the shrimps are getting down in there so they're getting nice and cooked, okay? Now, it's imperative that they get cooked. I said that once again, all right? You want the shrimp cooked more than you probably want the noodles cooked because you want to be safe. So I got that going. And don't forget, I have cheese, all right? So I have three slices of fresh cheese right here, Okay. American cheese because I'm American and this is American dish right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and unwrap the cheese, okay? This is delicate cheese right here. I went to the store and I was like asking them if they had like aged uh, American cheese and they did not. I was kind of disappointed in that, but then I was just like, hey, you know, People at the grocery store, they're not a chef, so they probably wouldn't know what aged um, American sandwich is. You can make cheese, American cheese fondue, which I'm going to do one day. I'm going to make American cheese fondue, which is actually really good. It's very American. I should have made it this past 4th of July, but I did not. So um, I'm going to make it soon. Maybe Memorial no, Day. What comes in September? Is it Labor Day or Memorial Day? Well, whatever comes in September, I'm going to make... American cheese fondue, all right? It's really good. Use American cheese. I might be able to find some, uh, I might be able to find some uh, aged American cheese. If not, I'll age it myself. I'm pretty sure that I have some in my fridge that's been in there quite a while. So, it's boiling right here. I'm gonna put the, the cheese to the side, and then I am just gonna stir this up to make sure that the shrimps are done and the noodles are al dental. All right. All right. The noodles are al dente. I just touched them. Okay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to let me go ahead and turn this pot up re really quick because it's I'm going to get started with the next uh, part of the marathon, the spaghetti raven noodles. Right after that, shortly. So I'm going to turn that up, and these are about done. And so what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to strain almost all of the water out of here. And then I'm going to add the cheese with a little bit of olive oil and stir it up and see what we have. All right. So give me one second. I'm just going to strain this. Turn that off. Strain this a little bit. All right. Oh, wow. This is looking good. All right. I strained it for almost all of what it's worth. I'm going to add a little bit of olive oil. All right, and then I'm going to add the cheese to this concoction, okay? And I'm just going to stir it up, put the cheese on top and give it a second, maybe turn this on a little bit and let the cheese start to melt in here and then I'll stir it up again and then the cheese will be coating the noodles, and the shrimp, okay? So I'm going to go ahead and do that. And uh, it's getting pretty hot. I turn it turn it up. Let me turn this pot over here so we get started on this one fairly quickly after this one finishes. So it's pretty hot, and so I'm just going to turn this off and then stir it real fast. Like a... Whoop. So it's going to look like a ball, just like that. You see that? And then I'm just going to take a little bit of Italian seasoning, just for color. And I'm going to put it on top, just like this, just sprinkle it like that, for a little color. Spin it a little bit. And because we're using American cheese, oh wow, doesn't that look good? Absolute goodness, if you ask me, right? Look at that. 
because we're using American cheese, I usually serve this when I'm serving this to my guests or, you know, potential uh, clients who want to hire me as a personal instant ramen noodle chef. I get an American, what's more American than a red a picnic cup, okay? So I have a picnic cup and I have the American cheese right here and I'm just going to take this and put the shrimp in like that. All right, just like that. And then the one shrimp I'm gonna leave like on top for decor purposes, okay? So make sure you get all that right there. Okay, put that aside. And then I'm gonna take the fork, put that in there, and then put a little bit more of oregano, Italian seasoning on top just sprinkle that on top for color. And then again, like I did last time for garnish, I'm gonna rip off a leaf of collard green. And I'm going to put it in like this, okay? All right, that is shrimp and cheese, American cheese, Raymond noodles. Look at that. Doesn't it look good? That's absolute goodness, if you ask me. I mean, all of the flavor, the cheese, the shrimp. Look at that shrimp. It's just in there, and it's just like, you know what? I don't want to be eaten, but this is such a great meal meal that, um, you know, I don't mind being eaten, right? So the shrimp is enjoying its life in there, okay? So that's absolute goodness right here. So that's... Shrimp and cheese ramen noodles. All right, I'm going to put this aside, and we're going to get started on the final part of the marathon, which is spaghetti ramen noodles. All right, get a little messy in here. It's okay. Cooking, that's what happens. I'm going to put that aside, and I'm going to put this on right here and turn the temperature up. And we're going to get started with this last part of the marathon. Now, with this... Spaghetti ramen noodles, of course, you're going to need ramen noodles, all right? This is chicken-flavored ramen noodles, and tomato sauce, paste, garlic, powder, olive oil, oregano, and one more thing. There's nothing more Italian than... Parmesan cheese. I love making Italian food. There's nothing more Italian than it, okay? So I have all the Italian ingredients to make it, right? So I'm going to get started. All right. I'm going to set these ingredients to the side. And then I am going to open up the package of Raven noodles. Now, with this, I use a different method because with Italian Raymond noodles, you want the noodles to be actually like longer. Because, I mean, if you remember, there was a, a cartoon called, I can't remember the cartoon, where two dogs uh, slurped on some ramen noodles, and they actually end up kissing. I think it was called uh, Lady and the Tramp or something like that. I'm not sure. But they used ramen noodles that were not broken up. They used whole ramen noodles. So that's what I'm going to do with this method right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and open up the ramen noodles, right? And I'm going to pull out the package. All right, and as you know, I always add the package first so the seasoning can actually penetrate the noodles, right? So I'm going to take this, I'm going to take the seasoning package, and I'm going to add it to the mix just like that. You see that? Absolute goodness, if you ask me. And then I'm going to pull out the block of ramen noodles. There goes the crunchies. I'm just going to add the crunchies. Oh, I can smell the fresh chicken in there. It's smelling good. Do you smell that? Smell it through the screen. Put your nose up the screen. That smells good, right? Absolute goodness, right? And so I'm going to add the fresh block of ramen noodles into the pot. Okay. Now, while that's cooking, I'm going to throw away the package. And then I'm going to open a can of tomato paste, all right? So I'm just going to get right here go ahead and do some prep work when you become a chef some of you guys who are like watching my channel learning some new recipes before you become a chef you're gonna learn how prepping your work is gonna make your life a lot easier 
All right. So I got this, and I am going to take this and open it up. <clears throat> Look at that. Fresh canned tomatoes, right? It doesn't get any better than that. Smell it, okay? Just smell it. it smells good, right? Absolute goodness, right? All right, so I'm going to set this aside, and I'm going to check on the ramen noodles. All right? Just going to div it in like that and maybe turn it to the side, flip it over. Now, I wanted them to be al dental, so I'm not going to cook them all the way, so I'm going to continuously check them to make sure they're not overcooked. All right? So just put that in there and like finish letting that cook. All right, and I am going to get the Parmesan cheese and open that up. Smell that. Doesn't that smell good? That's fresh grated Parmesan aged cheese. All right, absolute goodness. All right, so I'm going to open that up and get that ready because we want that to be ready to add to it. All right, now next, okay. The noodles are almost ready. So what I'm going to do is, I'm gonna get my strainer ready. Let me rinse it off really quick. I'm gonna get the noodle, the, the strainer ready, so I can strain the noodles and get ready to add. Now one method that I try to use, I try to use my spoon with the holes in it, okay, to strain, to help to assist me with the straining, okay? And I'll show you why in a little bit. The chicken flavor is really coming out strong in here. It's really smelling really good. So the noodles are al dente, so I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna strain it a little bit. Just take completely, pick it up with the uh, thing with the spoon. And I'm gonna pour out mo most of the water. Let me get it on the screen so you guys can see it. All right, I'm gonna pour out most of the water and just like leave just a little bit of water inside of here. Okay, do you see that water? I'm gonna need that to make my ramen noodle Italian spaghetti sauce, all right? So let me just get a spoon ready. All right, get a spoon ready and I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take just a spoonful or a spoon and a half full of tomato paste, put that in there. And then I'm going to take a little bit of oregano Italian seasoning, add that to it, and then some garlic, okay? This is fresh powdered dried garlic, okay? I'm just going to take a couple of pinches of it, a little bit more, all right? And rinse my hand off because I don't want the garlic to stay on my hand. And add the garlic to it, and it starts to cook just like that. And then I'm also going to add a little bit of olive oil. And I'm going, whoa, shit. All right. Didn't mean for that to happen. And I am going just to stir it up just to get it to. Like that. You see that? The sauce is thickening up, right? You see that? Absolute goodness, if you ask me. Absolute goodness. And so as it gets nice and thick right there, right? Um, it's getting nice and thick. Nice creamy texture right there. Look at that. Absolute goodness. Fresh sauce. All right. So I have fresh sauce. And what I'm going to do next is... I think I ran out of bowl, so I'm going to take this lid, turn the fire off. I'm going to add the noodles. Move this to the side. I'm going to add the noodles to the lid. It's kind of fancy. That's kind of stylish. And then I'm going to take some of the sauce and add it to it just like right up here all right and you see how i add it at the top so the sauce is going to drip down now i don't normally put on the lid but this is like as an artist you become creative as you go so i didn't have a bowl all i had was a lid so i'm using this 
And this is what happens in the culinary world. This is what is called like art, okay? And this is what we do. We innovate when we don't have things. So I didn't have an extra bowl, right? So I used a lid, all right? And so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to take some of the fresh Parmesan cheese. You smell that? And then I'm going to add the fresh Parmesan cheese to the top, just like that. Absolute goodness. And I'm going to also add some garnish to this because that's what we did on the last two recipes, but I'm not going to add that much. I'm going to take it and roll yes yes Josh very Itali Italiano um, I was trained by an Italian chef to make the sauce that I did right there okay so I have this piece of collard green see rolled it pretty well and I'm just gonna tuck this behind okay and this is how you make ramen noodle spaghetti Okay, absolute goodness. Smell it. Put your nose up on the screen and smell it. Okay, so to overview, we have Italian spaghetti. We have shrimp and cheese, shrimp and cheese, um, um, ramen noodles. And I have it in the cup because I used American cheese, right? American cheese. So I use in this cup that you see at most American barbecues. Uh, people have this cup and drinking whatever soda they, they can out of it. And then we also have uh, caviar ramen noodles for the fancier people. So I kind of have one thing for people who like Italian food, right? One people who like American style ramen noodles with shrimp and ramen noodles, okay? And then we also have the fancier dish for my higher earning um, fans who needed um, fancier dishes to eat. Now this is Raymond Noodles Marathon for today. I'm going to be done. All right. Um, I, I'm actually going to go to a food festival probably later on and I might live stream later today, tomorrow or Sunday or all three days and uh, just go out there and showcase some of the meals that they have at the food festival. I'm sure you all heard of it. It's called the Chicago Taste of Chicago Famous Food Festival and I'm going to go down there. I'm probably going to wear some shades and a hat so some of the chefs don't like you know, like, um, so they'll allow me to, you know, film some of their food because if they know that I'm a chef with all of you guys watch my stuff, they probably won't show me any of their secrets. Um, but I'm going to do that here later today, tomorrow or Sunday. So stay tuned. I'm going to be live streaming. I don't know when I'm going to go. I just might pop up there. Okay. All right. So that's all for today. I hope you all learned a lot from uh, the ramen noodle recipes that I was able to show you the caviar ramen noodle the shrimp and cheese ramen noodle, and the Italian spaghetti ramen noodles. Thanks a lot for watching, you guys. See you later. Thanks.